Susan decides to short 200 shares of Apple at $430 a share. When she first um, opens this position, she put up 60% initial margin. And I mentioned in the previous video that if the stock price increases by a certain amount, she'll actually experience a decrease in equity to the point where her equity will fall below 30% and she'll receive a margin call. What I would like to find out is how far the stock price has to rise before she'll receive a margin call. And again, it is a little weird because she's short in the position, a stock price increase will actually lead to a margin call for her, which is different from if you're long in a position. There a stock price decrease will lead to a margin call. So first we needed to figure out how much um, margin she put forth in dollars when she first shorted her position. She bought 200 shares at $430 each. So the entire position cost $86,000. She had to put up 60% of that, so that's $51,600. Now, what we're curious to find out is um, how much the stock price can drop before she'll receive a margin call. She won't get a margin call unless her margin drops below 30%. So that's the margin percentage. The numerator for the short um, position is the equity. The equity is going to be the amount the stock was sold for which was 86000 plus the amount that Susan put forth which was 51600 minus the current value and the, the current value is in this case how much the value would be that would accomplish a 30 percent margin. Well she owns 200 shares times X price per share, that would give us the, the value that would lead to a margin call. And then the divisor would be 200x again. So we need to solve for x. I'm going to put that side over 1 and cross multiply, and that will give me 60x equals 137,600 minus 200x. Uh, add 200x to both sides, that gives me 260x equals 137,600 and I get an X of oh, I gotta find my calculator again <laughs> Five hundred and twenty nine point two three. So if the price goes up to five hundred and twenty nine dollars and twenty three cents, then that would lead to a margin call for Susan. Now, um, that is as a percentage change. So what I'd like to know is at the um, $430 old price or the sell price is really what it is what is the margin call price? Well that's the 529.23. What I'd like to calculate is the percent change. So how much does the price have to increase as a proportion before Susan would get a margin call? So to calculate the percent change it's just the the new price minus the old price divided by the old price. So the 529.32, or oops that's 23 I need to reverse that. Uh, minus the old price of 430 over the old price of 430. So I calculated that as a 23.08 percent price change. Or actually, and that would be an increase. I just want to be very clear. It's a price increase of 23.08%. Now that's going to look a lot different um, compared to a person who's taken a long position. So let's look at somebody who's taken a long position in the stock. And we'll have them take a long position at $430 a share as well. So we've got Bob 
who takes a long position at 430 on a 60% maintenance again, and what I'd like to know is how much can the price drop before Bob gets a margin call. Well, when he first buys into the position, the total cost would be 200 shares times 430 each, again 86,000. He has to put up 60% of that, or 51,600. And then we need to calculate what he'll owe his broker, which would be 40% of the 86,000, or 34,400. And I'm interested in discovering what price the stock can be before he'll get a 30 before he'll reach margin of 30 percent at which point he'll get a margin call so there's the 30 percent the formula is total portfolio value minus what you owe the broker well he owes the broker 3440 his total portfolio value would be 200 shares times the new price of X and then the visor would be the total portfolio value or 200 X again Put this over 1, cross multiply, I get 60x equals 200x minus 3440, 3400. Subtract 60x from both sides, add 34,400 to both sides. I'm going to get 34,400 equals 140x. And I get an X of 20 or 245.71. Now again, I'm curious what sort of percent changes that. So this is how low the price can drop before Bob will receive a margin call because he's uh, taken a long position. And relative to his purchase price of $430 a share, so it'd be 245.71 minus the 430 over the 430 so that's a negative 42.86 percent so this is the price decrease that can occur before Bob will get a margin call now contrast that to Susan Susan could only handle a price increase I think it was about of 23 percent before she received a margin margin call when she was short in Apple so this demonstration just shows you how if you short a stock, the price doesn't have to increase by nearly as high of a proportion before you receive a margin call than if you go long in the stock. So essentially, um, a high stock price volatility will lead to more margin calls for short positions than they will for long positions.